up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the Hot Toys Return of the Jedi Ampa Palpatine Deluxe figure. So as you can see this is the actual figure right here. And I've been wanting to get this very like badge. You know, this is one of my favorite uh, like Star Wars like, like villains or you could say characters you know. And of course you know he's based on uh, Ampa Palpatine from um, but this particular version of him from uh, Star Wars Return of the Jedi or you can say episode 6 you know and yeah I did get to see this in the theater when they had like the uh, 20th anniversary of uh, Star Wars when they had re-released the original three films like the special editions that's when I actually got to saw this, see this one in the theater the actual special edition one <laughs> I went a bunch of times, I think I saw it like 6 times the actual special edition one in the theater you know and of course you know I had like the whole Blu-ray uh, thing 2 trilogy I mean collection as well because this Return of the Jedi film was actually a part of uh, the Star Wars trilogy when it first came to like DVD, which I still have right here. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this uh, this figure right the actual product code for is a uh, MMS four six eight because this is the box that the uh, Hot Toys has signed it in. But of course, like the product code B is on the box to itself, you know, because you can see it right here. It does say uh, MMS, you know, uh, 468 Ample Papa 10 Deluxe Version 1 6 scale. Now I must admit, that shot from Red Dog, that is just amazing. You would actually think that's Ian McDermott from the film, you know. It looks so realistic. <laughs> I can't believe how good that looks. So this box is like pretty huge too, as you can see, you know. As usual, you know, on the back, you know, it has like uh, the actual creators of this particular product too, as well, you know. So this is kind of similar, like I said, to that Darth Maul with the Sith Speeder. It's very uh, similar to that, I know. Now, I noticed the, uh, the way Emperor Palpatine's own runs, when you open, you actually have to slide this off like this. And that is how his actually looks on the inside. So you can see like, the figure on the inside, plus like his accessories like the chair and so on. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is go and just open this on uh, right now. <laughs> and here's another image of Papa 10 on the back. Boy you would think that was really from the movie, it looks so realistic, but that's actually the figure you know. I think that's a nice uh, image right now. And this is on the back of uh, this box right here, as you can see. Now here's another shot of the uh, actual packaging, you know, as usual. And Hot Toys, it, from what I'm seeing, they used to have their instruction booklet down here at the bottom. Because what you have to do is actually uh, peel this on off because it'll be taped in. And there's your instruction manual. And yeah, as usual, here's like your actual instruction manual, which gives you instructions on how to uh, do the Emperor too, as well how you do them, put them together if you're having trouble. I'm still amazed at how realistic that looks. That really does like Emperor Papa, you know, Ian McDermott from the film. So it shows you how to put, I guess, accessories and all that on, you know. I think these are very helpful too, you know. Now one of the uh, first things I want to talk about is the actual stand that comes with uh, Emperor Palpatine. So as you can see there's his actual stand and it does say Star Wars Emperor Palpatine on it. And as you can see they have this plastic on it so I'm going to go and slide that on off. And of course you know he has like, the uh, actual adjustable stand too as well. They call this neck and even this has plastic on it. Because you know, of course, what you do then is actually, um, they also have like, the, uh, the sliding car too as well. And I don't really use these that much, but you actually can put these like on it, you know, as well. Like these actual cars, if you want to change it. And I noticed this one's still very similar. It's just darker on here, you know, than it is on here. But then, of course, you know, you take this and then you just insert it in. And I usually have to loosen these, so I'm going to do that real quick. And while out there is the actual stand, you know, <laughs> with the adjustable neck, so I can actually put uh, Emperor Palpatine on this, you know. Alright. Okay, as you can see, there's a 
pop it in and he still has all this like plastic on him which I have to take off you know so I just take these off right there I, I guess I'll start with this one I know the feet probably tricky uh, actually they do come off pretty good you know I know some of them I had you know it'd be kind of like tricky the event that it started doing it's like the articulation of the feet all that's why I think it's the hand I gotta be kind of careful with too oh no they're coming off on uh, Seems to be pretty easy. Let's see. And there you can see is uh, the Hot Toys Emperor Poppleton. Now they had two versions of this. You actually can get the deluxe version which I have, which came with the chair, but then they have one where you just get on the Emperor Poppleton by himself with like the accessories. But the one I have is of course the uh, deluxe version. Now I'm gonna measure him and I'm measuring him actually on his stand. And he's like just under 12 inches. He's like he's about 11 inches in height so I guess what I do now is just talk about his articulation you know so, so I'm put that to the side so yeah as you can see here he is I must admit this really does like uh, Emperor Palpatine <laughs> or Ian McDermott I think that's really awesome now of course you can pull this hood back now this is one of the things I thought kind of was off about it because you don't see him like this at all in Return of the Jedi, you know. So you can tell this actual look of him is actually based on uh, the Sith, you know, Revenge of the Sith. You can tell he's actually based on that particular look, you know. He even has like the eyes and so on. I like that glossy, like wet crystal look. I think that's awesome that a hot toys has. Even like the wrinkles and so on, all of them, that is nicely detailed. You can even see his teeth, you know. Now his head seems to be kind of limited, but you can like turn it, you know. Right, left, you know, and so on. He can look up and he can look down. But it's kind of like limited, you can tell it's like on the ball joint, I believe. Even his hair, I think, looks uh, pretty cool too as well, you know. That he did a good job on the hair. Now, of course, this right here, I think that can be unbuttoned, but I'm not going to bother it, you know. But I've seen other videos and it was actually unbuttoned, you know. Then, of course, he has, like, the hood, too, as well. Like, it's actually a hood. Because there's no question, that's how I keep my, uh, my pop to him. And it does, like, it kind of has, like, a uh, an adjustable or bend the wire in it. But not overly, but you can actually, like, get it how you want it, you know. And of course, uh, Emperor Palpatine's arms can like go up like that. So he does have like articulation in his arms, as you can see. Hand can rotate too as well. Arm can bend. He does seem to be pretty loose too, I know. So you can't bend him and so on too. Of course, he has like the, the legs too as well, you know. You can, Bring the leg up, split your yeah, guys' articulation in his leg. I know he didn't really do these kind of movements. You know. Actually, he did, huh? On Revenge of the Sith, you know, he did, you know, he did have them kind of moments. <laughs> he was like agile, you know, athletic. And these are the kind of shoes that he had on, too, as well. As you can see, that shoes. It's nice that you actually could see what kind of material that he had on underneath because you didn't see all this in the film. As you can see, he has like this robe on underneath. And I like this material, it feels, you know, like this cloth. It's pretty cool, you know, especially when it comes to like Hot Toys figure. I think this is awesome. And I don't think this is like actually bendable or anything. Actually, it is. I think this is, yeah, it kind of has a, like, seems like it's kind of bendable. I know when I bring it up like that, it kind of stays. Well, yeah, I'm impressed with this. I think this is an awesome figure, you know. This is one of my favorite uh, characters <laughs> from the uh, the Star Wars like universe. And he stands up pretty well, but there's no question I'd be still using like a stand, you know. <laughs> now, the next accessory I want to talk about with the uh, Emperor Palpatine figure is this actual uh, cane stick that he has right here. Boy, this is awesome, too. It's nicely detailed. It has like this glossy like look to it. So I may have to change out a hand for this too. I'm gonna give it a try though. And yeah, there, as you can see, it's Emperor Palpatine actually holding this cane. And I think that was the hand that actually was for it too. 
Because he does like hold it, you know. You can even take him off the stand, you know, and put him like that. And he has it in his hand, you see. Because he actually just holds it, you know, as you can see. So, yeah, there's no question I probably just span him like this at times, too, you know, with his cane stick, you know. Because he does walk with that in the film, you know, so. <laughs> Uh, this is surgery that comes with uh, Emperor Palpatine is the actual uh, lightsaber of uh, Luke Skywalker, as you can see right here. Now I actually have the lightsaber that comes with Luke, and you can see there's actually a difference. Now they both do have like the um, the loops on them where you can hang them. Like this is actually Luke's Luke's on right here, and even the one that Emperor has has like, that loop on it where you can actually hang it. But you could do notice that there's a difference right here. This is the Emperor one, so you couldn't put like the actual blade on here, you know. Whereas on Luke, you know, you have to put the actual blade inside, you know. But it's actually the same identical lightsaber, which makes sense, you know. But I do think these are awesome. I think uh, Hot Toys did a good job with these. And I still be the detail in these are just awesome. And of course, you know, you can actually get this to the Emperor too. You can hold it in his hand. Like that, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, another accessory I want to show, and this really isn't an accessory, but this is just the actual extra pegs that uh, Hot Toys always give you, you know, which I think is awesome. Like if you actually break them, you know, they get like these two extra pegs. Now the next thing that uh, Palpatine has too, he actually has like four hands as you can see he comes with like four hands he has like two like a left and right like a open palm hands like that's the left one then he has like a right open palm hand then he has these two uh i guess you could say like a i don't want to say force hands but they are kind of like they have you know arcs in them you know i think he's like doing something like he's probably speaking pointing you know like if will not be turned, you will be destroyed. You know, like <laughs> stuff like that, you know. But he has like four alternate hands. <laughs> the next awesome accessory that the Emperor has is the actual two force lightnings right here. Now I'm glad that they gave us something like this, you know, because he did shoot like the force lightning in the film. So I'm glad that the uh, Hot Toys actually included this with the figure, you know. So I'm going to try these. Now one thing I do know about, they actually look kind of like purplish. They have like this uh, clear, transparent look right here, but then they actually get purple as they go on, you know? So I'm going to put these on them. And already, you can see that you actually have to change his hands too to put them on. I'm guessing these are the hands for the force lightning. Because you can see right here, you know, that you actually have to just stick these into like the finger some kind of way. So I'm going to see if I can do it. Yeah, as you can see right there, that actually holds it on. As you can see, the hand actually holds it. As you can see, it's the ample effect. <laughs> it's actually a force light. Now, that really is an awesome effect right there. That really does look cool. There's no question I'd be proud to span them like this at times, too. That really is awesome. I'm glad that the Hot Toys, you know, gave us that, you know, for him. <laughs> and, like, if you look closely, I'm trying to be careful. You can see that they actually go like in his hands, you know, if you look, you actually have to stick the, the fingers through these loops on the uh, lightning. And it actually stays on, as you can see, it won't fall, you know. You can see like his fingers right there, you know. How they actually like looped into like the actual, the, the force lightning. The next accessory I want to talk about with the uh, Emperor Palpatine figure from Hub Toys, I guess it's like his main one, you know. And that the actual what makes it like a deluxe like figure is his actual chair as you can see where they actually throw they call it the Emperor Stone. They still have it covered like in this stuff too as well. So I guess I get on this right now. Plus they also have like this base thing that actually kind of holds it up, you know. You can see it says uh like hot toys on the song. But this right here is the actual throne itself, and this is beautiful. There's no question I would have preferred uh, Emperor Palpatine with this. There is absolutely no question I would have preferred him with this chair. 
This also has like a light up feature in it too as well. I think the batteries are underneath. So what I'm gonna do is actually go and put it on in there. But you can see that the extra chair, you know, I think, uh, yeah, this is actually like hard material. It looks almost like it's really rubber, you know. And I think once you uh, once you uh, put the batteries in, then you actually put it on top of this, you know. So I'm gonna put the batteries in first. <laughs> so as you can see, this here is the actual Emperor Strong. And I think I got the bottom of it on right, you know, because it actually sits on that base. Then what you do if you want to actually cut it on, it's like right here, an actual switch, I believe, is uh, right up here at the top. So what I'm going to do is actually cut the light on. And as you can see, there's the actual light up effect. Which I think is pretty cool. There's even a light up under the dome, too, like under the roof right there. So there's no question I'll probably be doing this. And there's actually, they're actually even right on the buttons, too. That is just so awesome. I really think that is so cool. There is no question I really have would have preferred the Emperor with his uh his throne, you know, with this chair. That's what they call the throne. There's even red lights in it too as well. So as you can see it's real bright. But there is no question I would have preferred the Emperor with this, you know. <laughs> Another thing too, this actually rotates too as you can see, you know. Like rotate all the way around. <laughs> this is an awesome piece. Now what I want to do is actually give him a demonstration of uh, the emperor actually sitting in the chair. I've actually seen, uh, I actually watched the official sideshow video where the guy was posing uh, the emperor. Yeah, he had to show you how to put him in the chair. I bet it's kind of tricky. Cause what you have to actually do is bend him up and get him in the chair. So I'm going to get out of try. <laughs> and there you can see his Emperor Palpatine sitting in the throne. Now that is an awesome piece. There is no question this is how I'll be actually uh, displaying them too as well. Like actually sitting in this. Now I do notice I got him in a position where his feet aren't really completely on the ground, you know. Kind of remember the poser was doing that, you know, for Sideshow. They had a composer video on this. And he was showing how he actually had to really bend up his legs and so on. I really get him articulated to actually sit him in this chair like you want. But it's okay like that, you know. Then again, you can cut this light on and there's like his light. You can see that like, actually underneath him too. I think that's so cool, the actual light. Even right there on his, on his uh, arm rests. <laughs> Welcome, young Skywalker. I've been inspecting you. <laughs> now I must admit this is kind of one of the things I think is kind of an issue with this. You can't really put him on this where you can see like his name, like on the stand. You can if you took the actual neck out because there's no question I would like to do it like that. And it would probably sit up here, you know. But I probably would still be doing it because I guess what you would have to do is just take this on out, you know. But you can still tell it wasn't really made for that because it's still kind of off. But you can still actually sit and you still really couldn't see that, you know, even with the neck off. But I just wanted to get out a quick uh, example, you know. So as you can see, that's my uh, Hot Toys, Return of the Jedi, Luke Skywalker figure. Now these two actually go beautiful together, you know. Because these are like from the final scenes of uh, Return of the Jedi, so these two definitely go good together. And I am still having a lot of fun. This uh, Luke Skywalker figure, you know, I like that you can constantly like, change like, their appearance, like, like his robe, you know, or I could put on like other stuff with him and stuff. I think that's cool that you can constantly keep changing them, you know. But uh, yeah, these two go beautifully together, you know. So I guess if anything, I'm missing more like a Darth Vader from this particular moment, you know. But yeah, I think this is an awesome uh, set right here, you know. So yeah, I'm just giving this a shot, you know, that this Luke Skywalker, we can get this Luke, you know. Because they got different versions of uh, the Return of the Jedi Hot Toys, dude. they got like a deluxe version, and I think it's like another one too. I think it's like three different versions, I think. But yeah, this is the one I have, like, the actual standard main one, you know. But yeah, this definitely goes good with the, uh, the Emperor Palpatine figure. <laughs> okay, there's the Hot Toys, Return of the Jedi Emperor Palpatine. MMS468, that's the part of code Deluxe Figure. And again, this is based on uh, this version of uh, Emperor Palpatine, you know, from Return of the Jedi. And like I said, I got to see this in the theater when it was actually having that special edition of the uh, original trilogy, like when Star Wars is celebrating its 20th anniversary and they re released like, the original three films, like, you know, in special editions. That's when I actually got to see this at the theater. And I think I saw it like five or six times in the theater, the actual special edition 
of uh, Return of Jedi. This is one of my favorite uh, Star Wars films too as well. But uh, Emperor Palpatine, uh, played by Ian McDermott, that has always been one of my uh, favorite characters like in the Star Wars universe, you know. And of course, you know, I have like, the uh, whole Star Wars trilogy, the original one that was on DVD that this was actually part of right here, like the original first trilogy. And of course, I got the complete uh, Blu-ray saga too as well, which has like a, well, the first six films, you know, like the current sequel trilogy. I know they have like other updated versions of uh, Return of Jedi like on like DVD I think and like Blu-ray too as well. I think even 4K now too as well. But yeah, I would definitely recommend picking this up if you're like a fan of like uh, the Star Wars like figures, you know, from like Hot Toys. Now this is expensive, you know, I actually did payments on this too as well, you know, I actually had to make payments on it, you know. So it took me like a couple of months to actually pay it off if I actually actually got the figure, you know. So yeah, I would definitely recommend doing that too, you know, if you think you can like afford it or it seems too expensive, you know. Go with the actual payment plan, you know, and made like the payments on it, you know. But this is a superb and awesome figure. I really do like it a lot. I'm glad I got this, and there's no question I would have got the Emperor with his chair too as well. That's the only way you can get the chair is by getting the actual deluxe version. It has like these awesome light-up features, which are easy to actually do too as well. You can put the batteries in, you know, it's not as complicated as actually doing that lightsaber, you know, like this I actually be wouldn't do, you know, because you just put it in like the actual old-fashioned way, you know, you had to take stuff apart and things like that, you know. But anyway, uh, I would definitely recommend this, you know. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well. Welcome, young Skywalker. I've been expecting you. You no longer need those. Young fool. Only now, at the end, do you understand? Your feeble skills are no match for the power of the dark side. You have paid the price for your lack of vision.